manufactured in China. Not Portugal. <gasps> Not Portugal. Rafa Bibbs, I was very much always the classic kind of guy, but I did try a few others. I thought, let's, let's try the range. So I also previously got a pair of core. I thought, you know, just for a bit of day training, if I'm out for an hour or so, core can surely work for that. And at one point I thought I'm a bit more pro. So I went for a pair of pro team training. Having tried all three of them on now, there is only gonna be one pair I would get again in the future. But anyway, let's have a look at all three of them. The chamois, important stuff. Grippers, the fit, general, let's see. So here we are, mix and match. Ooh, that's that one. Cool bibs, what do you reckon? You like them? Ooh, nice. Now then, the Rafa say this is a relaxed fit with a bit of high stretch. And have you ever felt a pair of bibs that don't have any stretch in them? And a close but relaxed regular fit. So with a regular fit, you might think, hmm, maybe I would size down in the core bibs. Now I am a large kind of guy, pretty much large everything across the Rafa range, so I bought a pair of large core bibs. <coughs> you ordered large and extra large, didn't you? Well, I ordered large because that's my standard size, large. Got them on, put them on, didn't take the tags off. I thought, I oh, don't know, I'll see, uh, see what they're like first, because I'd never tried the core bibs before. And I was pretty much almost bent over double with the compression of the straps. I was like hunched back, and I'm thinking, that's not right. And I was unsure, and then I did have a look on the old Rafa website, looked at some of the other reviews and comments, and saw that some other people were just questioning the sizing of them. So, sent them back, got the extra large, and I must admit, they're a much better fit. So, for me, core bibs, I had to size up from my normal large size to the XL. The one thing I didn't know, well they do say in this, is that they have a longer leg size length. Doesn't look that long in here actually, but we'll uh, stick them on in a minute and see how they look. I think, now I'll let you into a little secret of the one thing I really struggle with this is waistband height. I almost like a mankini style fit, you know, just to, how should we say, cradle what's down there. I don't like them up too high, but I think that's one of the challenges I found with the core bibs. Not a Simon Cowell approach. No, I don't like that kind no of high here. Yeah, I don't like to, you know, have them under my chin. Didn't feel quite right. I don't Hold your moves in. Like a restriction. So that was one of the issues I had, but we'll see when we get the fit on how they compare with the others. Particularly when you get them on, it does look like they've just created a pair of shorts, you know, taking your old nan's spandex and sewn on some straps. So you, you have got that look, but I guess once, by the time you've got a jersey and a jacket or a top on, no one's really gonna see the, the top half of it. It does look a bit interesting. A little bit thicker material on these ones compared to the pros or the classics. Now, I don't know if this is important, I've never kind of thought, oh yeah, that's quite a lot of polyester in there and elastane, but these are 82% polyester, 18% elastane, and manufactured in China. Not Portugal. <gasps> Not Portugal. No, indeed, I'm coming on to those. So I'm assuming because, you know, these are competitively priced against other bibs, so maybe a combination of the material and manufacturing costs and the location of manufacturing corresponds to the competitive price of the core bibs. Breathability factors, well, I mean, I don't know, they're, they're quite thick material. I don't know, there's no real holes in them or, or anything, but there we go. I don't think they're the most breathable ones uh, in the range, but we'll see. The interesting thing though is the older uh, chamois pad, the chamois. It is the same one that's in the classic. If you look on it, it's got the Rafa Classic logo in the bib short. So it's the same pad, single density chamois as in the classic bib. So you're not really losing out on the chamois here. It's still a quality chamois. And that's about it really on that. I mean, in terms of graphics and logos, it's kind of, you're not gonna forget which bibs you're wearing. You've got the traditional Rafa logo on both side legs and you have also got it on the back there. The leg grippers, very, very thin, very light material. It looks like the leg grippers are actually sewn on to the base of the leg and it's almost like it's kind of little micro dot grippy rubber things in them. Quite wide. I would say not quite as grippy as the classic in terms of feel, but Seem grippy enough, seems to do the job. And that is it. 
That is your core Rafa bib shorts with a little bit of inspirational messaging on the inside. What do you think about those? Something you'd be interested in? No. There we go. <clears throat> Rafa core bibs. These are the extra large I sized up compared to my normal large. As I said, with the uh, large ones, I was hunched over like this. It was I'm pressing me down. I probably would be all right actually in that position. I don't feel too tight, not too compressed in these. Leg length, oh, we've got a bit of, bit of leg length there. I'm trying, uh, I'm sure if I keep my hand like that, it'd be a perfect measurement for when I try the other shorts on. Let's have a look. About a finger. Uh, yeah, I mean, again, it's just that weird, like you feel like you are wearing basically a pair of high waisted shorts uh, and they've sewn on some straps on the top of it. See now this is my, this is the bit I'm questioning. So let's do the old belly button test. That at the moment it's coming up, you know, over, over the top of the old, uh, the belly button. Especially when you kind of get into the old bike position. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems to rise up even further. That's the bit I'm not keen on. Yeah, uh, you know, grips the legs well enough. Pad, classic pad, having ridden with it. Never really had any issues on that. It's, as I say, I'm used to riding with the classics on, so all good. I guess I would just maybe question a little bit about the breathability. If you're on a hot day out, are you gonna sweat a little bit too much with the slightly thicker material? No meshing, no meshing around. See what it is. Especially on your back. Yeah, because it does, you got a little, uh, look at that, you got your little uh, sweat hole. So you got a bit of uh, breathability there on the back panel with uh, the cutout. All in all though, for, for the price of them. You know, if you're just knocking around, doing a few shorter training rides, I think they're all right, or maybe sat, even sat on the turbo, if that's your bag. Rafa Core Bibs.